Hi kids, welcome back. Today is week 22, day four. That's right. Our highlight verse is Amos 1, 1 and 9, 8. So let's take a look at Amos 1, 1 in the King James Version first. The words of Amos, who was among the herdmen of Tekoa, which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. Amos 9, 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Now let's take a look at that in the NIRV version. Amos 1.1. 1, 1. These are the words of Amos. He was a shepherd from the town of Tekoa. Here is the vision he saw concerning Israel. It came to him two years before the earthquake. At that time, Uzziah was king of Judah. Jeroboam, the son of Jaash, was king of Israel. Here are the words of Amos. Amos 9, 8. I am the Lord and King. My eyes are watching the sinful kingdom of Israel. I will wipe it off the face of earth, but I will not totally destroy the people of Jacob, announces the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. Okay, so what does all of that mean? It sounds difficult, but we're going to break it up for you here in the Foundations book. It says, Amos was a prophet of God. And we know that a prophet of God is somebody who goes and shares a word from the Lord to the people that God's told him to tell. Sometimes it's a lot more than one word, but <laughs> lots of words sometimes. Uh, Amos warned the Israelites that God was going to punish them for the way they treated God and each other. So this is the message. Amos had to go and warn the Israelites. Those are the people he told that God was going to punish them for the way they were treating God and each other. Mm. God was going to scatter Israel from their land. So he was going to take the people and scatter them. God assured Amos that he would not completely destroy his people. His promise to Jacob was still true. God would shake the kingdom of Israel, but he would not destroy the people of Israel who worshipped him. This is the recap. Amos was another prophet of God to Israel. God was upset at the way the Israelites were treating him and each other. God sent Amos to warn them that their punishment was imminent. It was going to come. Here it is. It was coming soon. Yes. And that repentance was the only way to escape destruction. And we know that repentance means to ask for forgiveness and to stop doing what we're doing that makes God upset, right? Even though God said he would destroy Israel, he also said that he would keep his promise to Jacob and not destroy everyone. God planned to restore Israel to its former glory. Okay, so how can we apply this to our life? It says in our book, when we sin, we must accept the consequences right? When you do something wrong at home, you have to accept the consequences, right? Mom or dad, they have a punishment. They've told you beforehand or they tell you after. Regardless, there's a punishment coming when you break a rule. So God doesn't stop loving us when we sin. Our parents don't stop loving us either. It's the same and his promises are still true. God's promises are still true, even when we sin. Complete John eleven twenty five. 25. 
by filling in the missing words. That's your activity in your book. There is a little fill in the blank. You'll notice that I put up on the screen two versions. There's the NIRV version and the King James version. So feel free to answer it in whichever one you're studying or both for extra credit, right? And so here's my answer. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even if they die. That's the NIRV version. Now for the King James version. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And let's respond in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us even when we sin. We need you every day. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. John eleven twenty five, 25, King James Version says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Now let's look at that in the NIRV version. John eleven twenty five, 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even if they die. John eleven twenty five. 25. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen.